Hello, beloved. This is Tracy L. Moore, a.k.a. The Purposeful Poet, bringing you spiritual truths through poetry. I also bring you greetings from Chesapeake Christian Center in Chesapeake, Virginia, where life is unlimited. My purpose is to encourage, uplift, and inspire you to be your best for Christ. And I'm here again today with more Motivation on Monday. That's M-O-O-R-E, Motivation on Monday. And here is my latest poem, Hot Off the Presses, entitled, Focus is everything. Focus is so very important, for it will determine your fate. Be mindful of that which you look upon, while on God you do patiently wait. Focus your gaze on things above and not on the earthly things. Decide that you'll live above it all, no matter what life may bring. Focus your mind on the word of God, for all his promises are true. Hold on to your faith and only believe, and your God will come through for you. Focus on the unlimited power of God, for there's nothing he can't do. When he acts, who can reverse it? He will fight every battle for you. Focus on God in the midst of the storm, for tough times will never last. Keep your focus on what's eternal, for what's temporal will surely pass. Focus on the benefits of your plight. You will win if you think as you should. Count it joy when you go through fiery trials and watch God work it out for your good. Where you choose to place your focus will determine your end for sure. Keep your eyes fixed on eternal things in the midst of the trials you endure. Focus can make all the difference for it determines your attitude, change your focus, and change your feelings. Yes, your focus determines your mood. Don't let the enemy deceive you. Don't let him cause you to even blink. Know that focus is so important. When you lose it, that's when you'll sink. Don't focus on eternal nonsense and all the chaos Satan brings. You must remember this one simple truth. Your focus is everything. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. Colossians 3 and 2. Beloved, focus is so important when you're going through a trial. 2020 has been a series of trials, and the only way we're going to make it through is to maintain a proper focus. My pastor, Hytheline Davis, once said, change your focus and you'll change your feelings. Feelings impact our decisions. Wrong decisions will cause us to forfeit our destiny. Therefore, when we are going through trials, here are some things we must focus on if we're going to get through 2020 with our sanity intact. Number one, focus on God and his power. Psalms 121 and 1 says, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. Fix your eyes on the Lord. Ephesians 3 and 20 says, Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. Don't ever lose sight of how powerful God really is. Number two, focus on your desired outcome in the future. Mark eleven twenty four says, therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Philippians 3 and 13, the Apostle Paul says, I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. We need to keep our eyes on the prize. And number three, focus on the benefits of the trial. James 1, 2 through 4 says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers, when you encounter trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Allow perseverance to finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. And Romans 8, 28 says, All things work together for good to those who love the Lord and are the call according to his purpose. Therefore, we got to shift our focus from the present adversity to the future benefits. As you can see, Focusing on the right things is imperative. If we can just maintain a correct focus on what God wants us to focus on, we'll be able to get through trials with much more peace and joy. And remember, as you go through your day, focus, focus, focus. Amen. And by the way, I just wanted to thank all who have tuned in to More Motivation on Monday each week. Those of you who follow me on my blog, Oasis for My Soul, and my YouTube channel, Facebook, and Twitter. Thank you so much. And it's been my pleasure to serve you, and I pray you've been blessed and encouraged in some way by the poems and inspirational writings God has given me to share. 
I also want to let you know that I will be on hiatus for the month of September. I didn't take any time off this summer and I'm also in the process of launching my new book, Keeping Christ in Christmas. I want to give a shout out to all who have agreed to be on my launch team and read my book and give a review before the book launches on November 14th. I got a lot to do between now and then. I want to get a running start. So you won't see me interacting very much on social media and I will be back in October, Lord willing. And I look forward to seeing you then. May God bless you real good.